For nearly a decade, a fundamental bottleneck has limited the ability to scale large language models. The issue is the self-attention mechanism, which has a quadratic computational complexity. This means that as the context length grows, the compute cost skyrockets exponentially. Many methods have tried to solve this, but they all require a trade-off. You could have efficiency or you could have accuracy, not both. In the DeepSeq v3.2 experimental paper, a new method is introduced to break this compromise, DeepSeq Sparks Attention, or DSA. It reduces computational complexity from OL squared to OLK. For a model with 128K context, this reduces the computational steps for attention by over 98%, and here's how. DeepSeq Sparks Attention uses a two-part system. First is the Lightning Indexer. It computes a relevant score between every preceding key token within the context window. It's built for speed using a simpler architecture with a small number of heads and a low precision FP8 format. While its complexity is still technically OL squared, its optimized design means its computational cost is a tiny fraction of the main attention mechanism. The second component is the top K selector. For each query token, it identifies a small fixed budget of the preceding tokens with the highest scores from the indexer. In this case, 2048. Multi-head attention is then performed only on this sparsely selected subset. Instead of computing attention across all 128K tokens, the model only computes across the 2K most relevant ones. A key architectural decision is that the indexer and the model are optimized separately. The indexer is trained with a KL divergence loss to mimic full attention patterns, but its gradients don't affect the main model. The main model is then trained on the standard language model task, using only the sparse inputs. The indexer learns to be a good recommender, and the model learns to be robust to the recommendations it's given. The results from DeepSeek's evaluations are promising. DeepSeek v3.2 performs on par with its dense predecessor, DeepSeek v3.1 Terminus, in benchmarks. Now you see the real impact when you compare all the cost scales. While this architecture represents a big step forward, we should be careful about drawing final conclusions until more experiments are done. What we can say today is that DeepSeek sparse attention presents an interesting new direction. Expanding context windows means we can make more connections across more knowledge than ever before.